In this episode, I meet a fascinating group of people who have made the ocean their home. My name is Bertie, and this is Borneo from Below. Imagine this, a group of people who spend practically their entire lives on the ocean. Children who can free dive to extreme depths with eyes that can focus underwater in ways we can barely comprehend. No, these are not the X-Men. These are the Bajau, an ethnic group living throughout Southeast Asia. With almost mythical reputations, the Bajau have long been a source of fascination to the rest of the world. Their romanticised nomadic existence and bond with the ocean has made them the subject of countless documentaries and news features. The Bajau are born on the ocean, they die on the ocean, and throughout their lives they're sustained by the ocean. However, over recent years, more and more Bajau have been leaving their seafaring routes behind and forming settlements on land. I'm here on Marble Island off the coast of Borneo and I'm here to meet a couple of families and learn a little bit more about their way of life. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello. It's estimated that only a few hundred Bajau actually still live on boats, so I'm lucky to get this opportunity to go on board with Francis and his family. going to go on a tour of Francis's boat and what do we have here we have the engine and next up is the gas used for cooking is over there and that's Francis's wife hello hello uh, and here is uh, the kitchen area so we have um, pots and pans and everything lots of young children here hello it's the hammock I love that hammock how cool is that and then we carry on. Oh, excuse me. Ah, excuse me. Sorry, it's quite cramped in here. And then we go through. There's pillows for sleeping there. And then we have these gorgeous, gorgeous children. Oh, how adorable is that? Uh, and the wardrobe over here. And coming up towards the end is the fishing gear. After looking around the floating family home, Francis tells me a bit more about their lives on the ocean. How do you make a living? Whilst it might seem romantic living entirely on the ocean, as a result of overfishing, the Bajau now face a daily struggle just to feed their family. The Bajau are renowned for their incredible freediving skills. And one spear fisherman called Manaya has very kindly said that I can come out with him today and photograph him in action. Now, Manaya and his family, whilst they're Bajau, are actually part of a growing population who have decided to set up settlements on land. Like most Bajau, Manaya just uses very simple tools. So he's got this handmade spear gun here and these very funky looking goggles. And in the spirit of fairness, I have decided to do it the Bajau way. And so that's no fins and just a mask. So it'll be interesting to see how I stack up in comparison. As Maniac sets off in search of fish, I do my best to keep up. Many Bajau are able to hold their breath for incredibly long periods and dive to serious depths in the hunt for fish. It doesn't take him long to spot a potential target and sure enough he spears it with his first attempt. Following a successful fishing trip, we begin our journey home before disaster strikes. So we've sank and now the boat's not started. Uh, Steve, it's Bertie. 
we're on the local fisherman's boat and it pretty much sank and it looks like it's flooded the engine and now we're kind of stuck. Is there any way someone could come and get us? Thanks, Steve. All the boats have gone out, so he's just going to see what he can do now, but it doesn't look good and we're going to have a long paddle back to shore. Because the boat sank and we've had to be rescued by Steve at Scuba Junkie. Thanks, Steve. So that concludes what's been a fascinating 24 hours with the Badge Owl. I've seen the strength of their bond, not just with the ocean, but with each other, along with some of the hardships that they face. I leave with many unanswered questions and a promise to return, so I can discover more about one of the world's most unique groups of people.